Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create some VLANs with the Edge Router X. I made a video back in June about this, how to create the VLANs, and we just tagged the Edge Router X ports. In this one, we're gonna make this link a trunk port so that the Unify Switch Mini can get our data and voice VLAN as well as our access point. If you guys are new here, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the like button. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You'd find us on Instagram at mactelecomnetworks, and we have a Discord server. I'll put the link in the description below. So this will be our setup. We are plugged into the Edge Router X from one of my ISPs, and down from the Edge Router X, this right here will be our trunk port. So this is gonna be giving us VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 which will be tagged and then we'll have our native VLAN being on the 192.168.100.1 range. So what we need to do, we need to go into the Edge Router X, create these two VLANs, create two DHCP servers for it, and then tag the Edge Router X switch zero. From there, we're gonna to need to create two networks within our Unify controller for VLAN only networks to have VLAN 10 and 20. So first thing we'll do, we'll head over to our Edge Router X, and this is the dashboard of the Edge Router X. Right down here is my internet connection. So I have a IP of 192.168.2.12 from my ISP. Then our local LAN will be 192.168.100.x/24. So to create two new VLANs, we need to go to Add Interface, go to Add VLAN, and then we could add VLAN 10. Select the interface that we want this to go to, and we want it to be on switch zero. So we'll give it a description of data VLAN. The address, we're gonna manually define an IP address of 192.168.10.1 slash 24 and press save. Now we need to do the same thing for our other VLAN. So we'll add the interface, add VLAN. This will be VLAN 20 on switch zero, and this will be our voice VLAN. Then we need to add the IP address, manually define it at 192.168.20.1 slash 24. So now our VLANs are created, we need to create DHCP servers so that they can hand those out to our clients. So we'll go up to services. Right now, the only DHCP server that we have is out of the 192.168.100 range. We need to add a DHCP server. This name, we will call it the data VLAN. The subnet is gonna be the 192.168.10.0 network. The range, we're gonna start at 192.168.10.10 and then the stop range will be 192.168.10.220. Then our router address will be 192.168.10.1. The DNS will just use 1.1.1.1 and 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 and press save. Now we have to create another DHCP server for our voice VLAN, so we'll add a DHCP server. Call it the voice VLAN. The subnet will be 192.168.20.0 slash 24 and it's gonna start at 192.168.20.10, and we're gonna end it at 192.168.20.220. The router for this will be 192.168.20.1, and it will be the same DNS servers. Now that our DHCP servers are created, we need to go back to our dashboard, and under switch zero, we need to go to action, and then configuration. Once we're in configuration, we need to go over to VLAN, and we need to make sure that it's VLAN aware. Right now it's disabled and we need to click the enable button. And then we have to tag our physical interface on our Edge Router X, which will be the ETH1 in my case. And we have to tag it with our two VLANs. So our two VLANs were 10 and then you need to do comma 20. If you had more VLANs, you could just keep adding commas and then putting that VLAN tag in. So we'll press save. And now those VLANs are tagging on that physical port. The next step is to go to our Unify switch and create two VLAN only networks. So I'm gonna to go to my controller and here you can see that both of the, the switch is getting an IP out of 192.168.100 range and same with the access point. So we wanna go down to settings, go to networks, and then we're gonna create a new network. Here we wanna do a VLAN only network. So we'll call it the data VLAN, which is VLAN number 10 and we'll press save. Then we have to create our next VLAN, which was a voice VLAN, which will be VLAN only. And we'll call it the voice VLAN. And we'll tag that with 20 and press save. So now if we go to our USW Flex Mini, we could click on the switch itself. 
go to one of these ports and we could tag it with that VLAN. So, so I'm gonna click the edit pencil. We're gonna switch the switch port profile to be in the data VLAN and press apply. Right now, this PC is just on the native VLAN. I could go IP config and you could see that I'm getting an address out of 192.168.100 network. If we plug into this port two, we will get an address out of the 192.168.10 network and I'll do that right now. Now I'm plugged into the second port on the USW Flex Mini, which is tagged for VLAN 10, which is our data VLAN. I'll go IP config. And out of here, now we're getting an address from 192.168.10 network. The same would apply if we tagged it with the voice VLAN, we would get something out of the 192.168.20 network. So to create wireless networks that will take this VLAN and get us to either the data or voice VLAN, we need to create wireless networks. So we'll go to settings. Go to wireless networks. I'll create a new wireless network. I'll call this one data VLAN. We'll give it a uh, password. I'll just do test one, two, three, four for now. And then we're gonna select the network that we want this to reside on, which will be the data VLAN and we'll press save. We could do the same for the voice VLAN. Give it a password of test one, two, three, four, and then select the voice VLAN and press save. Now, if we go to our wireless network adapters, we could click on here and we could see that we have a data VLAN. I could click on that, connect, and then type in our password of test one, two, three, four, press next. And we are connected. So if we go back to a command line, do IP config, find our wireless adapter, which is our wireless two, we could see that we're on 192.168.10 network on our Wi-Fi network. So that's how you create a trunk from your Edge Router X to your Unify switch or Cisco switch or whatever switch you're using. It may be a little different depending on the vendor you go with. If you guys like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.